Well, suppose somebody is a terrific entrepreneur on paper, he or she looks great, but they've really never done this before. They seem to have good education, they seem to have the drive. What's the likelihood that you would back somebody who's never done a deal before? So if they've never if they've never founded a company before and if they just have a plan, it's very unlikely that they raise sort of top, top end venture capital. Um, however, once in a while, you get somebody who's not done it before, but they've already built the product, right? And so the, the classic example of this would be Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg had already built Facebook at Harvard, right, by the time he started a company. I was an example of this. I had already built the Mosaic browser by the time I started Netscape. And so a first time founder who has a product, oh, the Google's another example. The Google guys had built the Google search engine at Stanford. And so if you've already built the product, then you have a calling card to be able to raise money for a venture because you, you already have something that's real. And so the best thing to do as a first time founder is actually, <laughs> is actually build a product. Now there's a chicken and egg thing there, which is you might need the money to build the product, and that's where people get stuck. Okay, let's suppose somebody comes to you and he or she is well um, ad addressed. They've they come to you from a recommendation by somebody that's good, and they've actually built the product. Right. When you look at their deal, um, do you say, we need to make 10 times our money, 20 times our money, 30 times our money to go forward? How do you assess what kind of profitability you want in order to decide how much you're gonna put in and when you're gonna do it? Yeah, so it's, it, we do some quantitative modeling, especially later stage, but the, the big question is, could, could you view a path by which this could be a big, important, independent franchise company for a very long time to come? Like, is this kind of the kernel of something that could grow into being something very important and very large? Um, and if you think that's the case, then kind of the math falls out of that, right? Because almost every, every time that happens, you, you end up making a lot of money. So, so that's really the question. And I, and I would really drill into this concept. We, we focus a lot on this concept of, of importance. Like, does this matter? Like, th this product in the, life, in the life of its users or customers, like, is it really going to be fundamental? Is it going to matter? Is everybody in whatever market they're in going to need this product? Are people going to find it inconceivable to live without this product? If we have that, then it's very easy to build the spreadsheet. If we don't have that, and it's just basically like, oh, we think Microsoft will buy this company in two years or something, then we, we would not do that deal.